What's up, everybody? Will here, and welcome to Orion. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. Um, Orion, Arian. I'm not sure. Hopefully, the game will tell me as I get into it. <clears throat> um, I heard about this game a while ago, and I didn't realize it had come out. And I'm going to openly admit I read some of the reviews. I've heard the controls are a little difficult. But I still wanted to play this game and highlight it because this is um, a high fantasy game, which we're used to high fantasy as gamers, but we're used to European, Asian, or Greco-Roman um, high fantasy. This is an African high fantasy. And to me, that's really important. I mean, representation is an extremely important thing in, video in media, especially in video games. And there are so many cultures and groups that are just not represented at all in gaming. So I felt it was really important to try to check out this game and highlight it. Not to mention it's made from it's made by a small little group that's you know they're I can't pronounce the name of the country. It's uh Cambrine or something like that, I think is what I saw. I'll have to look it back up. Um I'll put the correct name up on the screen when I'm editing. But it's a small group um, out of a country on the African continent. So, I mean, for them, this is a very important thing. This is this is a part of their culture. This is something special to them. So, I wanted to check it out. I, I Like I said, I'd heard about this game like a year or two ago. And it just... The art looked amazing. It still looks amazing. But let's get in and let's check this game out. Garden of the Odains. The city of Zama. In a few hours, I'll be king. Enzo! All my people are counting on me to guide them. Am I ready? Areen and I have completed the Nagondo ritual. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that too. We've proven to our ancestors that we have a strong bond between us. But, am I really ready to be be a good king? Will Irene be the queen as Zama needs? Bah, I'm clearly worrying over nothing. I'm marrying the most beautiful woman in Zama, and my people have faith in me. I'll wander around a bit. Try to relax. The Prince of Zama's last walk. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. I should go and speak with the Garut of Z Gar Gar Garit of Zama. Um, another word I don't know. <laughs> he used to counsel my father in moments of doubt. He must be under the Palavar tree, telling stories to children. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of words I'm not familiar with. Now, this game was designed to be played with the um, 360 remote. I'm not really in the mood to play with the 360 remote right now. Um, just because the way my setup is, is it's, it gets a little hard after a while. Um, when Enzo is next to a character, he can interact with blah, 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 blah. All right, we don't, you don't need to sit here and watch me go through all that stuff. I don't know. Game wasn't responding. All right, so first off, let's just take a few moments here because I just want to take a moment to look at this. Like, we've got this lady over here watering with this Really cool watering, um, water, ugh, I can't speak, watering can type thing. It's a very cool design. I love this fountain down here. It's very cool with the little figures. I don't know, I've always been really fascinated, and I love the hovering table. Oh, and check out the armor, that's fucking badass. All right, I've always been really interested in, um, like, other cultures and their mythologies and stuff like that. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, alright. The Garden of Odin is a rather peaceful place. All the kings of Zama rest and meditate here. I make sure that all the plants stay beautiful. Thanks for taking care of this palace, of this place. My parents were so fond of it. Like, I'm, I'm really big into culture and mythology. Look at that little guy! Oh, isn't he cute? Um, <laughs> I love mythology and different cultures and... 
exploring them and learning about them is really, really important to me. Because I'm, I'm one of those people. I feel like, you know, the past matters. It helps us... You don't need to know the past in order to move into the future, or even to avoid the mistakes of the past, because, I mean, honestly, the mistakes of the past, majority of the time, are moral issues that could have easily have been... Oh, alright, there's not much to do in here. That easily could have been avoided um, had people just been, you know, more morally sound. But I think looking into the past allows us to get a better understanding of the future. As weird as that sounds. Uh, that's, uh, all right. There we go. Ooh, I love the music. Long loading screens. I'll try to cut these out most of the time, but right now, just want to listen to the music. <laughs> Anyways, um... And, like, African culture, I know... Oh, shit. Not where I meant to go. Uh, Alright, so as I was saying, and African cultures have been something I've always really found interesting because we don't research them enough. We don't have... Check out that tree statue thingy. Um, we don't have enough information. On, we don't have a lot of information, like, in European countries and in the U.S. that really have... We don't have a whole lot of information on these cultures. These are things unfamiliar to us. And... Who... Why not learn about them? These things are amazing, and... And I know this is, like, all, like, very much a exaggeration of the culture, but I mean, that's what all European... All, all high fantasy games are. So, I wanted to support this. This is really cool, and... I mean, the art in the game is beautiful. I'll openly admit, the game is a little rough around the edges. And since the city of Zama come to pray to their ancestors here. The RN is indeed tangible here. Alright, there's no actual voice acting, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have had some voice acting. It would have been cool had, like, the voice acting been in, like, a native- their native language, like, the developer's native language. Which I think is... They only had two language options. They had English and French. So I have a feeling... Sorry, coffee. Speaking of coffee, um, the African continent is home... Is home to a vast... Is one of the, like, major growing regions for coffee. Um, Ethiopia. Uh, Cambodia. All sorts. I think Cambodia is there. Oh god, geography is not good. Um, but I know Rwanda is, and... Uh, there's a place near me that has, um, that roasts Rwandan coffee, and oh my god, is that stuff amazing! If you ever get a chance to have Rwandan coffee, I highly, highly encourage it. Uh, told me you are, you are a little stressed. Here, try these herbs. Oh, thank you! Um, do I just get them? Are they just in my... Shit? Oh, yeah, they must be. Wait, how do I access my inventory? I don't even know how I access my inventory. Bag? Nope. Alright, whatever. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> so, I'll admit, the game is really choppy. I don't know if you've noticed I've been having a hard time with the controls. <clears throat> so, I'll admit, the game is a little choppy. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that I've been having a bit of an issue moving around. Um, the game space is a little... odd. Alright. Do I just go further this way? I guess... Oh, I guess so. Uh, maybe I just go further. Yep. I am... I think I'm gonna have to buy the soundtrack for this game, because... I'm really digging this song, <laughs> this music. Check that guy out, with his little special hoe. And, all right. Hey look, a white woman. <laughs> no, that's not surprising actually at all. Um, at least I think. Yeah, that's just giving lessons. Yeah, she's got green eyes, white, and hair, which I know 
those all can happen in other races too, but I don't know. That just kind of throws me off a little bit. But that's awesome, because that's, you know, that's inclusive in the opposite direction, which I think is really cool. That this game, you know, which was designed to represent, you know, African culture and stuff like that, instead of going the way that most, like, games go right now, having a character, like, their main character and their primary focus is on, like, one, t one race, they actually have multiple people in here of different races. That's nice. Um, good day, young prince. Going on one last stroll, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah. And, uh, yeah, sad. Thanks. Thanks for bringing up my dad. Which I'm guessing is dead. Uh, 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 feast. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Um, that's probably where I'm supposed to go. But I'm gonna look around. Ooh, check out the poles. Oh. That's who I need to speak with. But look at this place. Man, the designs for this place are gorgeous. I mean, the art is absolutely beautiful. They did a good job with that. So, I mean, I'll give them that. I'm probably not going to get too far into this game, because... Because, yeah, this is... There's a lot here. This is kind of crazy sauce. Oh, what's happened? Oh, I got more stuff. Take all. <laughs> I am your king. I shall take everything. No. <laughs> The load times are a little ridiculous, but... Oh well. Again, this was a game made by a small group. And it's one of their first games. I think it is their first game, as a matter of fact. So... But I can tell you this, this game is making me want more in a setting like this. Oh! I kind of hope this is what Black Panther looks like. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'm letting this load screen go because I'm talking right now. All right. That would be so cool if Marvel's Black Panther was done like this. Ugh. That movie I can't wait for. That's going to be freaking epic. Good day, my son. What does the future king of Zama want from an old man like this? Um, I can ask him multiple questions. Alright, I'm just gonna blow through these really quick, just so I can check them out. Alright, check out this lady. He's running to me. Run, run! Feeling, it's the Nadim. The whole palace ceremonial guards are, is looking for you. The future king is losing- Queen is losing patience. Here lies Enzo Kori Odin. Odin. Kori Odin? King of Zama, strangled in his bed the night of his honeymoon. <laughs> Get going, dude. Ooh. Fancy cutscene. Oh. Mostly naked lady. <laughs> Alright, getting in a little close, the art gets a little crazy. Oh! Uh, brothers and sisters of Zama, today the light of Maisha shines in our hearts. Prince Enzo Kori Dan, ancestor of Na descendant of Nasser, now becomes our king and the guardian of our people. He also brings us a worthy queen, Arine Evo. I'm really pronouncing- I'm hoping I'm pronouncing any of this correctly. I am not, but you know. Uh, the young couple before us fully complete the ancestral ritual of Benara. They have swum in the wa water of the water and obtained the blessing of our ancestors. Oh, that's cool. Look at all the ritual. Ritual says a lot about cultures. But look at these ladies over here, man. I'm a little creeped out by them. Um, for one, they're wearing weirdly Slave Leia-esque outfits. But look at those heads! They're not moving! Uncanny Valley. Unbelievably Uncanny Valley. That is creepy as hell. I have to keep smiling, though, above all. I really want Enzo to be happy right now. And look at her dress. Ugh, that looks gorgeous. From the little bit that you can see. Do-do-do-do-do. And that fish. Ugh, dinner. I want... 
Are you guys drinking coffee or something else? Hope you're drinking coffee. Have mercy answers just a little miracle for a father who has only one much adored daughter. Spare me the torture of seeing her kiss, the, kiss a man. My little student is now king. Hope you're proud of your son, that you're watching him from behind the great veil. You are now king and queen. <laughs> What's this? What's going on here? Who are you? Oh, sorry I'm late, but on the road to the palace I saw some. Hey, we're gonna get some combat in here. That's cool. I like her. Ch check that out. Female warrior right there. That's good to see. Gender diversity, racial diversity, whatever she is. <laughs> it's exciting. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor puppy. <laughs> Central City. Where's Barry Allen? It's like a little dwarf guy. It's really good timing. These any signs I left their huts unprotected. Ratians! Oh, rat! All right, get it, get it! Hilarious! Um, where is Spartarus? Boss, he went to loot nearby the palace. Now that's the ki kind of thing I don't like. Plan was to stay here. I think he's coming. Um, he's running because he's being chased. <laughs> Soldier, get your breath back. Whoop. Oh! Dang! There's Barry Allen. Not really. <laughs> but he is the Flash. Oh, look at this. This is all cool. feel like I'm watching, like, an African magical girl sequ transformation sequence. Check out that armor. I'm a Bamf. There's King of the Ratians. Boy, you and your race really picked a bad day. I'm in a good mood today. I'll give you one last chance. <laughs> Old enough to grow a beard. Alright. Uh, it's a never surrender. Rat means charge. Alright. So, we're gonna get some combat. And I'll probably end it on the combat here. And we'll take a few moments to talk about the actual game itself afterwards. I'm a bit rusty. It's been a while. <laughs> Let's get back to basics. Alright, so... Space jumps, and then back and forth. Alright. X, K is to attack- Oh my god, why is it all the way over there? That's ridiculous. Um, press space and K. Jump. Um, what is the right bumper? is M. Uh, I should have rearranged these controls, man. Seriously. Uh, hopefully this first battle will be relatively straightforward. Alright, let's do this. This is gonna be awkward. Here. Nope. Oh, look at that!
Eh. Right, anybody left? Nope, got them all. All right. So like I said, that first fight was going to be e probably really easy. And that was definitely more designed for a controller fight. Um, we're level 3 though, we leveled up twice from that battle. That's pretty cool. I did like how the combo system set up the experience points. That was kind of fun. Uh, you've beaten us once again. Kill us so we can die with dignity. I don't want to die. <laughs> you fought well, I'll spare you. However, I'm taking back what you've stolen. They did not at all fight well. This is an insult to our honor. Same every time. They're the best punching bags in the world. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Now see, that's what I want. That's some voice acting there. Oh, this is... This is getting a little crazy here. Things are picking up. Dang. What a way to end out this video. Alright, but I am going to leave this here. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it's... Alright, so a few thoughts. They... For a small group, and this being their first game, they did a good job. Um, this game definitely reminds me of games I used to play uh, back in the late 90s with the, like, cartoon side-scroll graphics. Um, so, I mean, it's got a bit of a nostalgic feel going there. The controls are a little hard. Uh, the movements are really choppy. So, I mean, those are things that could be improved. They've got a decent concept for a combat system going. Um, it was very much designed for a uh, controller to be used to play this game. Um... It could have been improved a lot by some voice acting. Uh, the text windows kind of throw out of the uh, whole experience of the game. Kind of removes you. It doesn't keep you immersed. But that's a moot point. I mean, this was, like I said, a first attempt. They, they did a good job for what they were trying to aim for. Um, I probably won't play this game again on the channel. Uh, just because it was very hard to play, and I'm going to openly admit it was very hard to record. Um, I'm not sure how this video is going to come out. It's probably going to seem really choppy. Unfortunately, that's kind of how the game worked out. Um, I'll try to make it as smooth as possible, though, for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, this is Aryan. Um, there will be a link in the down there uh, to check out the game if you want. The soundtrack alone, I think, is worth purchasing because the sound the soundtrack for this game is beautiful. I'm loving the music. Um, the art is gorgeous. Honestly, I think this would the the game itself, the art, the story so far, I think would have lent itself far more to a less interactive media, maybe like a comic book. But I mean, that was the developer's choice. I think it was a good game overall, though. Um, maybe not one of the best, but it was a good game overall. But, as I was saying, sorry guys, I got cut off. Um, I'm not sure where I cut the audio on that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad game. Um, I don't think it was probably worth the money that it cost, but then again... The developers, you know, they were trying to create something, and they, you know, this probably cost a good amount of money for them to develop. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out this video. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button. Uh, share and favorite as you see fit. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd really love to see you hang out more often. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be good to each other.